Hey everyone, this is Drew at Headset Advisor, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Plantronics Savvy 8200 series wireless headset. So let's get into that right now. All right, as you see here, this is the headset. This is the Savvy 8210, but there is also the Savvy 8220, which is dual speaker instead of single speaker. Everything else is identical. They get set up the same way. The functionality is identical. So the first thing you want to know is the headset can connect to three devices. You can connect to your desk phone, mobile phone, and computer. So if you do a mix of desk phone calls like here on the Polycom, but you also need that same headset to work on your computer applications like Zoom or Microsoft Teams, Cisco, Avaya, Ring Central, the list goes on. This headset is going to be able to seamlessly switch between all three of your devices and you can use whatever you want being hands free. All right, so the first thing is if you're connecting to a corded desk phone, there's two possible ways that you could set the headset up. If the phone has a designated headset port, we're gonna plug it into the headset port. So we're gonna take the big clip of the cord that comes with the 8200 series. We're gonna take the big clip and go ahead and plug it into the back of the charging base as you see here. There's only one spot it can go. Take the small clip, and we're gonna plug this into the back of the Polycom phone, and the only icon that it, can, that it um, will go into for it to work. There's an icon right over here that shows a picture of headphones. I don't know if you can see that, but if you, um, you're gonna plug the small cord into the headphones icon, and that's it. Plug it in. Set your handset back on the base of the phone. Now the question becomes, how do I use the headset? Great question. You have two ways that you can turn the headset on. Number one, you can take the headset out of the charging base, tap the desk phone symbol. This is gonna go solid green. At that point, you just put your headset on. It's ready to be, you can just uh, leave it on throughout the day. When a call comes in, simply hit the headset button right there. Tap that, that's gonna answer a call. Tap that again, that's gonna end a call. If you wanna make an outbound call, tap that again and it's going to give you dial tone and you would dial out like you normally would. The headset is not gonna change the functionality of the phone, so um, the same way that you would put callers on hold or transfer or answer multiple lines, all of that stays the same. The headset just gives you that added ability to be hands-free to multitask. Um, if you want the ability to answer and end calls away from the phone, you need an accessory. Uh, one of those accessories is, is either called a handset lifter or a hook switch cable, and it depends on what accessory you want, uh, depending on the make and model of your desk phone. If you want that added ability to answer and end calls away from the phone rather than having to run back and answer a call, reach out to us here at Headset Advisor and we can let you know the compatible cable or accessory needed so you have that functionality. All right, if your phone doesn't have a uh, designated headset port, what we wanna do is this. Unplug the headset, I'm gonna unplug it from the headphone port. If the phone doesn't have a designated headset port, what we're gonna do is disconnect the handset from the base of the phone. So just like that, now you see there's nothing connected to the phone. We're gonna take the Plantronics cord and plug it into where the handset was um, disconnected from. Now, if you see on the Plantronics cord, there is a small square box right here. This is where the handset's gonna go. Plug the handset into there, just like that. And at this point, that allows you to still uh, use the handset or the headset. So if you don't wanna use the headset, you just wanna answer a quick call, you can still pick up the handset and it can be used. Um, keep in mind, this is how the headset's gonna get used if you don't have that remote answering accessory. You'll turn the headset on. As you see, the desk phone symbol goes green. To, if an inbound call comes in, you would have to remove the handset off the phone. When you're done with the call, you would hang it up. If you want to make a call outbound, you would remove the handset from the phone, dial out, and then you would have to leave the handset sitting on your desk, uh, which some customers really don't like to do, which is why they get that added accessory. 
Um, even if they don't want the ability to answer and end calls away from the phone, they don't want to take the phone off and set it on their desk. So if you don't want that, get the accessory and that'll take care of that problem. Uh, to use the headset on your computer, it's also very easy. So uh, you would take this USB cord, let me show you here. This USB cord has micro USB on one end and USB A on the other end. So all you would do, yeah, let me move, let me disconnect this so I can show you guys. All you would do is take the small end and plug it into the back of the charging base, just like that. You would take the USB A port and you would plug it into your um, laptop or computer or Mac if it has a USB. Uh, a port, if your computer doesn't have a USB A port, you can get um, a conversion cord, which would be USB C uh, to USB A, and then you'd be able to take the headset and have it uh, be used on your computer. Uh, from there, it's really plug and play. You plug it in, you tap the um, laptop symbol. Once you, once you hit the laptop symbol, it's gonna go green, and there you go. You would have audio on your headset and you would also be able to communicate through the microphone. Uh, last thing is, if you want to connect to your mobile phone, it's very easy. All you would do is go to um, this button right here. This is a, you'll see this is a Bluetooth symbol. You would press and hold the Bluetooth symbol. Let me see if I can see that. All right, it's flashing red and blue. At that point, you would just go to your cell phone under the Bluetooth settings, and you would, um, under the Bluetooth settings, uh, you would search for discoverable devices and it will show, I believe, Savvy 8200 series or something like that. You would just simply tap uh, the Savvy 8200 series as your Bluetooth device. At that point on the charging base, to use the headset on the mobile phone, you just tap the mobile phone symbol, that would go green, call out on your cell phone, and there you go. You'd be able to uh, use this headset on your cell phone. Now keep in mind, the Bluetooth is in the charging base um, of this headset, it's not actually in the headset itself. So if you were to take, uh, if you were to leave the office with your headset uh, and your cell phone, you can't be in the car, for example, and use this headset for calls. You have to leave your cell phone within 33 feet of the charging base. Um, that's it. Um, one last thing is there's a ringer on this charging base too that I wanted to share with you. Um, this is uh, designed on the 8200 series. If you don't have computer speakers and um, you're using the headset on a soft phone client and you want to um, hear an incoming call rather than hearing it through your headset, you can also hear the ringer through the charging base. That can be turned on and it can be turned off, which is very nice. So that's it. If this video was helpful, please hit the like, uh, comment with your thoughts, subscribe for more videos like this. and. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.